The microphone I have clipped to my chest here is a Mayano AU XLR10 and I've been using this for about two and a half years. In fact, when I first got this microphone, I did a review about it. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description. It's been great for two and a half years, but recently uh, two and a half years of wearing and tearing and use and a little bit of abuse caused the cord to get a little bit frayed at the connection okay now i have repaired this this is after my repair uh, i trimmed the cord down a couple inches desoldered it and resoldered it i thought about making a video about the repair of this microphone but i didn't want to subject myself to uh, critiques with my uh, novice soldering skill so I decided not to make that video uh, but anyway before I did this repair I contacted the folks at Mayano two and a half years is beyond the warranty on this microphone but I thought might as well contact their customer support and see what happens uh, they were rather nice to me uh, but they did not have an AU XLR 10 in stock so what they did instead is they sent me uh, the AU-102. Now this microphone uses a mini plug, a TRRS mini plug, instead of an XLR connection. I prefer an XLR connection for the camera I'm speaking into right now, but I have use cases for microphones with a mini plug. So I'm going to be trying this out. That's coming up on Thrifty AV. This is the part of the video where I sometimes give a disclaimer about something being a review sample, but Mayano did not send me this microphone to review. The customer service department sent this over because I complained about this microphone uh, not working. Now I have since repaired this microphone, but I am still gonna check this out. Now right now it is inside the box. Let's get it out of the box. The box does not appear to be sealed here. There's some protective plastic on top here. Silica gel. There's the wind screen. There's the clip. Comes with a little carry bag. Carry bag has a spare wind screen and a spare clip instructions it does use batteries LR44H 357A this is not the only microphone I have that uses these batteries so I have a few of these batteries to spare it also came with this adapter so I can go from a mini plug to a quarter inch Already, it already has two batteries in here, so it uses two batteries at a time. Okay, on the back of the little control module is a belt clip, and on the front are two switches. The bottom switch is off, and then uh, smartphone mode when you're using it with a smartphone, and then camera mode. Uh, when it uses the internal batteries to power it for a camera. Up here on top you have 0 dB which is uh, the regular output level and then a minus 10 dB if whatever you're feeding this into is a little bit uh, too hot you can cut 10 dB off uh, you might want to use that with a smartphone for example. Also down here, there's a headphone jack. That headphone jack only works when you're in smartphone mode. My uh, Lumix FC300 has a microphone jack right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into the microphone jack. I'm gonna go ahead and attach the mic to this clip here. And there is a little recess spot on the mic where the clip goes in. And I'll go ahead and use the windscreen even though I'm indoors right now. The hole on the windscreen is kind of tight. That's a good thing. 
Right now I have the switch set to camera and I'm feeding it into the FZ300 and I'm getting left channel only. Now when it's on smartphone, I'm getting some signal here, but it is quite a bit lower. In fact, it might be a little bit too low. Uh, I'll test it out in a little bit and see what this sounds like, but I'm definitely going to try both the camera setting and the smartphone setting. I have both of my Mayano lavalier microphones clipped to my chest right now. Right now you're listening to my older XLR microphone and I'm speaking into my Panasonic HCX1000. And now you are listening to the AU102 microphone and I'm talking into my Lumix camera. You may notice that it's left channel only well, I'm hoping to remedy that with this adapter right here. Okay, I've now plugged in the adapter and instead of getting left channel only, I'm getting dual mono. It's feeding the same signal into both the left and the right channel. Now this adapter is not something that came with the Mayano AU-102. This is something that I just had on hand. I pulled the adapter off of the camera. It was not a good solution because it was introducing hum into the signal. Now I'm back to left channel only, but I'm going to try something else out. This is a camera, not a smartphone, but there is a smartphone mode on this microphone and maybe, maybe it'll sound pretty good. So I'm going to switch to that smartphone mode. I am now in smartphone mode and the meter is showing a way lower level. So I might end up having to boost this in post-production just to make the level sound better because I think smartphones, they just must want a much lower audio level than my Lumix camera does. I was not entirely successful using the Mayano AU-102 with my Lumix FC300. When I was in camera mode, I was getting left channel audio only. I've had that issue before and used an adapter like this one to remedy that problem. But when I used this adapter with this microphone, it introduced noise into the signal. So that's not good and I don't want to deal with that. Now I also tried switching it to smartphone mode and it was just way too low so to apply enough gain to the signal you introduced way too much hiss and it also sounded a little bit muffled so as far as the FC300 I'm gonna stick with my vintage Audio Technica ATR 35S uh, but I am gonna try this out uh, with a smartphone and see how well it does with that I'm now recording using my Samsung phone. This is the Samsung voice recording app. Uh, this is not lossless, so there may be some compression artifacts in my voice. Now I have engaged the negative 10 dB pad on the Mayano because when it wasn't engaged, these levels here were a little bit too hot. It looked like they were over modulating. And now those levels look pretty good on the display here. So I'm hoping that this recording sounds pretty good. I'll be checking it out to see how well the Mayano AU-102 works as a telephone mic with a Samsung phone. I'm back on the Mayano XLR microphone, but I want to try the AU-102 with my primary camera. Now I do have this quarter inch to XLR adapter here. This did not come with the microphone. This is something that I already owned. But the microphone did come with this mini plug to quarter inch adapter that I could plug into here and then I could plug the mini plug into that. Now I am not a big fan of stacking adapters, but I'm gonna try it out in this case and see how it sounds. Right now you're listening to me through the XLR microphone and and now you're listening to me through the Mayano AU-102. It's in camera mode. The minus 10 dB pad is turned off and it's running through two adapters, the mini plug to quarter inch and then the quarter inch into the XLR 
which is plugged into my HCX1000 camera. This is what it sounds like. I've taken the AU-102 off of my shirt and I'm holding it now to test the omnidirectionality of this microphone. This is an omnidirectional microphone which means that whether I'm speaking directly into the front of the capsule or if I'm speaking to the rear of the capsule or if I'm speaking into the side of the capsule it should not matter it should pick up my voice the same regardless of what side of the microphone I'm talking into now if you're in a quiet environment having an omnidirectional microphone is great they uh, they sound good if you're in a noisier environment you might go with something with a cardioid pickup pattern that would not be the AU-102. You would want to pick a different microphone for a unidirectional uh, pickup pattern. But if you want an omnidirectional, I believe, I'm just looking at the meters, but I believe that this thing is uh, a good omnidirectional, meaning I can address it from any direction and it's picking up my voice just fine. There's one feature on here that you may have noticed I have not tried out and that's the headphone jack. And the reason why is because right now I'm hooked up to the camera. This does not work when I am in uh, camera mode. Uh, basically it has to pull power from the smartphone in order to power the headphones. And it's relying on the volume control on the smartphone to set the volume on the headphones so it just does not work in camera mode. In conclusion, the Mayano AU-102 is great when paired with a Samsung smartphone. Results may vary if you're using a different smartphone. For example, if you're using a Google Pixel 3a, I have yet to find an external microphone that works well with that phone. But with the Samsung phone, this Mayano microphone worked great. If you don't mind, left channel only. This works good uh, when plugged into a camera like my FZ300. Uh, but I could not get dual mono even with an adapter without introducing noise. And right now with this plugged into my uh, Panasonic HCX1000, uh, this mini uh, plug style microphone is noisier than an XLR style microphone from Mayano. Uh, the audio sounds pretty good, but if I be quiet here for a second, you can hear more noise floor uh, using this microphone than you can with an XLR microphone. That's why I like XLR microphones. Uh, this one's handy. It'll be the thing I use when paired with my smartphone from now on, but it won't get paired with a whole lot of other devices. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Thank you to my patrons and members for supporting my channel. And remember, stay thrifty, everyone.